Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking motion trail text effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels would be fine at a duration of about 10 seconds. Just press OK. Once we've got that, we need to focus on the background first. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new solid and I'm just going to call it BG. Just press OK. Don't worry too much about the color. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that that layer is selected. I'm going to click on the pen tool and I'm going to draw a random shape. Now, the more random, the better this effect is going to look. So see how you go. The only thing that you have to worry about is you have to make sure that the mask is completely enclosed. So you have to make sure that it hits the first point that you started off with. So once we've got that, then I'm just going to come over here to my layer. I'm just going to press F for feather and I'm going to bring this up to about, let's say 400 pixels. Now you can't see anything just yet because we need to add a fill effect. So if you put a fill effect in there, you can see what is actually happening in there. And that's looking pretty cool, but we want to change that color. So for the colors, I'm going to be using color hunt. So I'm going to be using this color palette. So all I have to do is just click on that and bring it back into After Effects. Cool. So now I've got my first color. Now we need to animate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the effect called Turbulent Displace. And then I'm going to come down to Evolution. I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard and then click in that little stopwatch area and then down here for my expression i'm going to write time times 200 and so now if you've done that correctly you will now see that animating now if that's too fast for you you can always change the settings down here so that's one color done now what we need to do is we need to make sure that we click on this layer and we're going to duplicate that three times so once we've done that, then we need to go back to color hunt and make sure that we change all the fills to individual colors. So here I am back in color hunt. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this and put it into After Effects. Cool. So now I've got three different colors and nothing really is showing up because what we need to do is we need to modify this shape. So I'm going to start with, let's say the middle one first, the pink one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change it up a bit so the more random you can make this the better it's going to actually turn out so you can play around with some of these you know anchor points you can move it all in and what you want to do is you want to create different sections for different colors so for example here we have the purple color now you will only see this color come up when you start to modify the blue section as well so we're just going to put that in maybe just something like that. And then we're going to go back to the blue one and we're going to change this around a little bit. Now you don't really want any black areas. So if you do have a black area, just go back to one of your shapes and then just fill it up with some of that color. Cool. So now once you're happy with your animation, you can preview it and see what it looks like. And you can see that there's a little bit of black up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move that around and see how you go. Now that's looking pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it. So what I need to do is I need to highlight all of those layers and I'm just going to pre-compose it. I'm going to call it background. Now to sell this effect a little bit better, we're just going to add a Gaussian blur to this. So I'm just going to bump that up to, let's say about 7%. Cool. So now that we've got our animated background, the next thing that we need to do is we need to add some text. So I'm just going to come over here, right click, add a new text layer, and I'm just going to write my word. So the font that I'm using is Milestone, and this is a running writing font. So if you don't like how the text goes into each other, then maybe choose a different font. Once you're happy with your font settings, I need to come over here and hold control and double click this pan behind anchor point tool to move that anchor point into the center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come to my align settings and I'm just going to make sure that it's aligned to the center of my composition. So once we've got that, then what we need to do is we need to right click and go to create shapes from text and this will create our outlines. And once we've got that, then what we need to do is we need to animate that. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to press P on my keyboard for position. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the stopwatch and I'm going to move this up to let's say 200. So that will bring it at the top, maybe even a little bit less. Let's go to 220 
and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move forward in time to let's say one second and I'm just going to click and drag and hold shift to bring it down to let's say maybe 840 and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press Control C to copy that keyframe and move to two seconds and then I'm just going to paste that keyframe in. So now we've got a simple bouncing keyframe. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to easy ease those keyframes. Then with all those keyframes selected, I'm going to hold Alt. I'm going to drag that out to about four seconds, maybe even five seconds. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold Alt and click on the stopwatch and I'm going to write loop out. And so now this will create a expression which will loop that animation continuously. So it will move up and down and then back up and down again. So that's looking pretty good. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to duplicate that another three times. So click on that layer, press Ctrl D, one, two, three. And now what we need to do is I'm just gonna highlight these three layers over here. I'm gonna zoom in to the maximum amount and I'm going to offset them, let's say four frames. So I'm just gonna move them to four frames over here and then I'm gonna do the next four, these two layers. So I'm gonna move that to frame eight and then finally the last layer, I'm gonna move that to frame 12. So now we've got the, the trail happening and that's looking pretty good. Now all we need to do is change the colors. So we'll leave the top layer as white and then we'll come down here and we'll change these three. So all I have to do is go back into Color Hunt, grab these colors and change the fill. So all you have to do is just click on the layer, go to fill and then just copy and paste that value in. Cool. So now if you've done that correctly, now you will see that you have all of those nice trails and that's looking pretty good. So now what we can do is we can just pre-compose all of those uh, layers and I'm just going to call that text and now we can finish dressing it up. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we are just going to create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to search for the effect called noise and um, we're going to put about let's say 8% noise on that. So that's looking pretty good. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to create a very simple scale in animation. So I'm just going to create a new null object and I'm just going to highlight these two layers and parent them to the null object. And then I'm going to hit S for scale and I'm going to click on the stopwatch, move to the end of the composition and I'm just going to scale that into let's say 110%. But now you can see that the text is really at the top. So what I need to do is I need to come to my text layer and I'm just going to bring that scale down to, let's say maybe like 90, something like that. So cool. So that's about it. Now all you have to do is export that. And there you have a simple motion trail text effect created in Adobe After Effects. Anyways, guys, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.